This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 2nd of October. I'm James Spann. A complex weekend forecast with an approaching cold front and a potential tropical storm involved. So a lot of questions. We'll see if we can answer them. Let's begin with the big picture early this morning. This is the water vapor satellite view across the continental United States. Primary jet stream is well to the north. There is an upper low over Louisiana. And we note this morning at daybreak some rain falling along Interstate 55 in Mississippi. And we'll keep an eye on that, that the chance of rain in Alabama is not zero today, tomorrow, and Friday. But still, most locations we think will be dry for the next few days. There's a watch warning map around the nation. Winter weather issues for parts of the north, uh, North Dakota, Wyoming, Montana, with a, a big system that is expected to form out there that will be dragging a cold front down this way. In terms of severe weather, low end 5% possibilities today across parts of the Corn Belt. And then tomorrow, the standard slight risk of severe weather that will be uh, upper parts of Nebraska and Iowa. And then Friday, a slight risk of severe weather running from Oklahoma up to uh, uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Madison, Wisconsin. And within that, there is an enhancement over parts of Iowa and Minnesota on uh, Friday with a very deep surface low. That'll be an interesting system. Uh, uh, if this were deeper in the season, we'd have a big blizzard going on back in the cold air sector, and there still could be some snow. We'll show you that here in just a minute. This is the rain expected for the next five days. This carries us through Monday morning. And uh, we've got heavy rain up north with the uh, surface low there. And then uh, we've got a tropical system coming up from the south. And that creates a lot of uncertainty. Uh, you know, exactly where the heaviest rain axis will be across the southeast United States, we don't know yet. And I would say this map will have to change as we know more about the potential tropical system. It's got five and a half inches south of uh, Dauphin Island. And uh, parts of the southeast could see some uh, pretty soaking rains from this. It all depends on the development, the intensity, and the track. This is where it stands this morning. First off, Tropical Storm Jerry is out in the middle of nowhere. Stays out in the middle of nowhere. Actually, it might approach the Azores this weekend as a post-tropical depression. But obviously, that's not the issue. The issue, it's this thing. That looks pretty well organized this morning. Uh, I would imagine if they, if the government shutdown doesn't have anything to do with it, they'll try and get a hurricane hunter in there uh, later today or this evening. Uh, but clearly, the convection has increased. There is a decent-looking outflow with this thing. Here's the latest spaghetti plot on the models. This is based on the 06Z runs. And there's pretty good consistency in this thing coming up with the consensus around uh, Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, or Pensacola. In only 72 hours. I mean, that's about the time the weekend begins. And then the thing hooking northeast. And remember, as you look at this, the heaviest rain will be along and east of the circulation center. So if that track is correct, the thing comes up through Gulf Shores, Montgomery, Atlanta. The heaviest rain would be south and east of cities like Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. Still, it's going to rain this weekend. But the really big soaking rains, the flooding threat, if this develops, would be a little east of where we are. Here's a Google Earth plot of various tracks, kind of a higher resolution look. And you can see you've got outliers over into Louisiana and then some over into, you know, around Cedar Key, Florida. But clearly, the bulk of these things want to bring it up through uh, parts of south and east Alabama. But we just don't know yet. We, we say this all the time. Until this thing really gets its act together, we can see where the center is now and we can initialize the models correctly, this will be a lot more accurate and we'll know much more. It's just hard to lay out a specific weekend forecast now, but we'll take a look at more modeling here in a second. This is the uh, GFS, the 06Z run. I'm sorry, this is the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon. This is a loft at about uh, 18,000, 20,000 feet where the pressure is at 500 millibars. You can see the disturbance west of the state uh, over the lower Mississippi Valley and down below that. Uh, today should be mostly dry, warm, uh, mid-80s, partly sunny. And these showers off to the west. We'll check the high-res NAM. Uh, this is valid today at uh, 4 o'clock local time. And it shows a few showers over Tennessee, North Mississippi. I think will be dry. This is tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Same thing, nothing showing up. The chance of rain, not zero, but just so small we're not going to mention it. And this is Friday at 1 o'clock. 
the model showing some showers over South Alabama, south of US 80, but nothing here. Let's go to uh, the GFS Friday at 1 o'clock. And again, it's dry. And boy, it's an interesting look, isn't it? You've got a very deep surface low, a thousand millibar low that's over Kansas. And again, if this were um, just a, a few weeks later, November maybe, that'd be a blizzard back in the cold air. That's a close call. There could be some really, there could be some big snow for maybe parts of Wyoming based on those thickness values. But uh, a lot of that could fall in the form of rain. And of course, Friday in the warm sector, obviously, with dynamics like that, you got to look for severe weather over maybe, uh, you know, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, and Iowa, and there's the risk up there. And then you've got the tropical system that could be Tropical Storm Karen in the Gulf, south of uh, Gulf Shores. And, uh, of course, let's go to the upper look on Saturday, and you can see the big trough, and that'll be pulling the tropical system north-northeast. Trough axis uh, west of the state, down below that. This is Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock. And the GFS has the rain on the front, still west of here, around Memphis, down toward Shreveport. The tropical system is coming up toward the Florida Panhandle. The rain shield not expansive with that, according to this model. And if you buy this, the a pretty good bulk, to bulk of the day Saturday would be dry. And, you know, we've talked about the main window for rain, 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon till 3 o'clock Sunday. We'll probably leave that in the forecast. But this is suggesting it might be Saturday night before we see rain. Check some of the other models. This is the Hurricane Wharf. Valid Saturday morning at 7 a.m. And it's got the system uh, right around Pensacola, Florida. That'd be coming up uh, moving northeast. And again, on that track, the heaviest rain would be south and east of here. This is the GFDL. It's got the thing uh, just around Dauphin Island. Friday evening. This is 72, 72 hours out. This is Friday evening at 7 o'clock. It's a lot faster. The uh, maximum 10-meter wind is 52 knots. That'd be a tropical storm. And the RPM, now this only goes out 72 hours. This is valid uh, uh, Saturday morning, just after midnight, Friday night, 1 a.m. Saturday. And it's got the thing way off to the west. It's got it below the Louisiana coast, below Morgan City. And that's kind of in line with the NAM. So there's a lot of model spread, a lot of uncertainty. Uh, the, the one thing that uh, I didn't show you earlier, I'll show you now, this is the... Uh, projected intensity on this thing off the models and, and the good news all models keep it under hurricane strength so the, the main effect of this will be the heavy rain threat but uh, you know we just don't have the answers yet you could guess all day long uh, but again the the odds are the heaviest rain with this would be east and south of Birmingham will have rain from the front let's go to Saturday night this is just after midnight, 1 a.m. This is back to the GFS. It's, it's still got the showers with the front west of here. The tropical system is in uh, somewhere down there below Dothan. And again, it doesn't show a lot of rain with that, which is kind of mysterious. I think there'll be a much more expansive rain shield with that thing. But again, if you buy the GFS, the bulk of the day Saturday would be dry. The showers coming in here late Saturday night. Um that bodes well for the Alabama football game. I'm tip for the Auburn football game. You've got to think there's going to be a chance of rain, and there could be heavy rain uh, with, with this tropical system. You just have to be aware of that. And again, we'll know much more tomorrow. And then Sunday during the day, the GFS has just light rain showers, nothing heavy coming in. Tropical system is over South Georgia, down below Macon. And then Monday, everything's gone. Now, we have seen a run or two that tried to suggest lingering showers into Monday morning. This looks dry, nice and cool. Uh, highs low to mid-70s. It'll be just like a really, really nice fall day. And then Tuesday, I think a good chance we go down to the 40s to start the day with a high in the 70s. Just gorgeous fall weather. And Wednesday of next week uh, looks very, very nice. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.